Hello and welcome back. We're going to take a look at the latest Lubuntu 20.04. Now this is still in beta as of this uh, recording. This should be released uh, not too uh, long uh, from this upload. So this is Lubuntu 20.04. This has the very light uh, desktop environment called LXQT, which you see here. And looks like this has the kernel 5.4. Uh, I did have to install Simple Screen Recorder to record this. So let's take a quick look and uh, see what this uh, looks like. So we do have a panel here at the bottom. Now, Lubuntu is all about being as light as possible. So that means if you have an older machine, uh, maybe as old as maybe um, um, Windows XP, maybe. Maybe with just 2 gigs of RAM or less, uh, Lubuntu might be an option for you. Of course, if you have a faster machine, a, a newer machine, this thing will just fly. So we're taking a look at the configure panel here. You can add little uh, widgets uh, to the panel if you so choose to, similar to the, um, somewhat similar to the Mate uh, desktop. All right, so we have some shortcuts here, uh, including volume and the mixer. It looks like this looks like pulse audio. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the left, the terminal, simple screen recorder, show desktop, Firefox, the file manager. Is this PC Pac-Man? Yes, it is. All right, again, super, super uh, lightweight. Let's go ahead and go through the menu here, the start button, the launcher, and see what is installed real brief. So accessories, feather pad. Of course, it would be feather pad, uh, be called feather pad, be pad because of a light system. Education, uh, LibreOffice, games, just one there, graphics. All right, I would probably, if I was going to keep this, I would probably install uh, GIMP, internet, and we have Firefox, Blue Devil Wizard for Bluetooth, Office, again, a bunch of the part of the LibreOffice suite, sound and video, all good software here, uh, K3B, uh, Disk Burner, Pulse Audio, VLC, and of course I installed Simple Screen Recorder, System Tools, and again, if you want to install this, this should have a, a newbie-friendly beginner installer to install Ubuntu 20.04. This, this will be an LTS version long-term support. I believe it's a three-year support, uh, if I am not mistaken. So as far as the uh, software center, their version of the software center, they have Discover. Uh, as far as their package manager, this is okay. Uh, I prefer Synaptic myself, but yeah, this is fine for beginners. I don't see a problem with this. Nice use of colors, white space, and graphics here. All right, let's continue uh, moving along. HTOP, let's go to HTOP. Looks like it's using 1.2 gigs with the recorder running. All right, that uh, sounds about uh, right. And let's see, anything else here catches my eye. And now let's go to preferences. I did install the uh, Synaptic Package Manager also. Again, this is my favorite package manager as far as Ubuntu base goes. And now this is not necessarily something for beginners. It's not that hard to learn, but once you get more used to how Linux can work, you may, you may definitely want to install the Synaptic Package Manager. All right, let's go back to preferences. Let's go to, um, uh, let's see, let's go to, to LXQT settings. Why don't we try appearance? Different styles, breeze, windows, fusion, icons. Um, hmm, whole bunch here. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, papyrus maybe. All right, LXQT theme. We can go dark. All right, very nice. And let's go back and let's see. Printer, screensaver, software sources about LXQT. Some information here. This is version 0.14.1. And again, right clicking on the panel will give you some options uh, here. Leave and lock the screen. So, yeah, this is. Look, if you're looking for a light system to revive an older laptop, an older machine, uh, and you want to go as light as as possible being Ubuntu based. This might be a choice. My, my, my first choice would probably be Ubuntu Mate. It's my personal favorite. But if you want something even uh, possibly lighter, 
uh, this is something to definitely uh, try out. So check out the latest Lubuntu with an L 20.04. Wait for the final release because this, I'm sure, will still have some bugs in it as it is not finalized. Well, that's all I have for this. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Always a uh, pleasure chatting with you. I'll catch you on the next one. Arrivederci.